America in Crisis, Summer of Rage, Riots and Violence. 2020 has been quite an experience so far. Can you imagine where we'll be in another six months? Everything that could go wrong went wrong. As if the coronavirus and the worst unemployment numbers in history were not enough. Outrage spills across America, the nation's largest cities are exploding with rage. As angry protesters take to the streets and attack police and destroy property. America today is in chaos, with mass protests, looting, arson attacks, looting, vandalism, and violence spreading from coast to coast. Amidst what is one of the worst health and economic crises ever. This is not going to have a happy ending. Economic turmoil, mass unemployment, civil unrest, corrupt, uncaring government, manipulation of the food chains, and add a pandemic in. This is the perfect storm. We all getting played to turn against one another, wonder who that is. Add into the equation, food shortage, natural disaster, solar minimum, heatwave, locusts attacks. There will be a lot more rioting, looting, and civil unrest as the US economy continues to collapse. What we have seen in the city of Minneapolis is only the start. Social unrest and protests are unfolding across all major US cities. Our country is so profoundly divided. These are not peaceful protests, this is chaos. This is part of the agenda to justify the implementation of military martial law. This has been the plan from the get-go. Everything going according to plan. This is what happens once people realize that looting is systemic and starts at the very top. People are fed up, and this country has lost any economic integrity or a sense of purpose. Those who make a peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. America is coming apart, as we have riots, much like what we saw happening in Hong Kong. The White House is now suggesting the military may be sent in. Trump tweeted, when the looting starts, the shooting starts, quoting Miami Police Chief's notorious 1967 warning. Trump and Pompeo called Hong Kong rioters, freedom fighter. While American protesters are called thugs. Smack of fullest hypocrisy and hegemony nature of the US unassumingly as a policeman in other countries' internal affairs. What the CIA did in Hong Kong, is coming around to haunt us at home. This is called karma. After years of fomenting revolts and rebellions in other countries with zero regards for the people who live there, time for the US to have a taste of their own medicine. Why is America sending troops to quell their own rioters immediately after a day of protests and is making a huge fuss to prevent China from sending in their own troops for Hong Kong protests? Definitely double standards here. In the USA, protests for a few days, sent in the military to shoot. In Hong Kong, protests for one year, the police must act with restraining, otherwise, sanctions will be imposed on China. Bringing in the military to the streets of America will only get a lot more people killed. Problem Reaction Solution The people will cheer for their troops marching in. Order out of chaos. The aim is to establish an overt police state and surveillance system that is used to oppress the masses and keep control of the country in the hands of the current owners and rulers of the USA after the US empire collapses, for generations to come. The surveillance systems are already in place. Police force training has also already been shifted from de-escalation and preventing violence to escalation and employing violence and brutalizing people. The psychological profile that cops are recruited from has also changed to allow mindless policing. The militarization of the police in terms of equipment and training has also already happened. Returning veterans who have been to war and know the truth, ex-cops and other dissidents of the regime are already being labeled as domestic terrorists. The laws that make the establishment of a police state as a response to a crisis are already signed into law in the Patriot Act and NDAA. All that is required now is a spark of violence that is made to spread and spread, we are here, until finally somebody snaps, cops fire into crowds or crowds firing on cops, and that will give the excuse to fully activate the police state through POTUS declaring martial law. So now here comes civil war, martial law, and the troops. Congress and the Senate will be suspended. The courts will be suspended. Power to rule will be fully shared between the head of DHS, head of FEMA, and POTUS, White House. And there is no limit to how long the president can keep democracy suspended like this with FEMA, DHS, and White House being in charge of the country, instead of the legislative, judicial, and executive branches of government as the Constitution declares. What happened in Minneapolis was a spark that could ignite a civil war in America.
This is going to escalate dramatically as the economy begins to collapse. We are going to see a summer of riots like it's going to be back in the 60s and even worse. When people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And as a result, the militarized police are going to become more militarized. The uprising is the voice of the unheard. We see this explosion of violence and the rioting and the looting and everything is that we are having a real crisis of faith in some of our institutions.